From some of the craziest geological formations in the southwestern United States to that mysterious air base hidden away in the vast desolate Mojave wasteland, here are Strange Things Found in American Deserts, Part 2. But first, we'd like to give Tord Edworld a shout out for leaving us this comment. American Eye is going to bring you the truth whether you can handle it or not. And more shout outs to our fans because you guys are the greatest. Number 15. Spider Rock Located at the Canyon de Chile National Park, this massive rock formation was considered sacred to the Navajo and Anasazi tribes in Arizona. The most recognizable monument at this park is of course Spider Rock, which is a sandstone spire that rises 830 feet in the sky. The Navajo believed it was home to some kind of spider woman that would come down from the rock with her web. Sometimes she would even snatch little kids who were misbehaving. Other legends claims that she taught the Navajo how to weave baskets and such. Number 14. Mexican Hat Rock You might be familiar with the Mexican hat dance, but are you familiar with the Mexican hat rock? Although the name might not be politically correct, it gets its name for the sombrero shape and also has been on various lists for unusual places. Although the name might not be politically correct, it gets its name for the sombrero shape and has also been on various lists for unusual places. A little town nearby is actually named Mexican Hat, but the rock formation is just as unusual. This formation is found in Utah in San Juan County, located in the southeastern part of the state. The rock is about 60 feet high and 12 feet wide. It appears to be perfectly balanced at the top and seems like it'd be pretty fun to climb. Climbers claim it's fairly easy to get up, but the rock at the top takes some rope. Number 13. The World's Tallest Thermometer Next time you drive from Southern California to Nevada, you might get the chance to actually see the world's tallest thermometer. How could you miss out on such an opportunity? Located in Baker, California, it measures an impressive 134 feet, one foot for every degree in Fahrenheit measured in at July of 1913. A record day in Death Valley hit 134 degrees or 57 degrees Celsius where you could have probably boiled an egg right on the street. It was built in 1991 by the Young Electric Sign Company of Salt Lake City. Not long after its construction, 70 per mile winds snapped the original thermometer in half and a few years later it was rebuilt. The place even has its own gift shop and is probably one of the cheesiest roadside attractions you can find in the US. Number 12. Ivan Pa Solar Electric Generating System some people who are for reusable energy because it's good for the environment might want to cover their ears when they find out about what's really going on. This 390 megawatt solar energy plant is located south of Prim, Nevada in the state of California. It uses a large array of mirrors that shine concentrated beams of light into a tower which turns the light into power. The only problem with these concentrated beams of light is that they are incinerating birds at a rate of 6,000 per year. Workers at the plants call them streamers because the birds actually catch on fire while they're flying and explode. Clouds of feathers are left over after they fly into these death rays. Number 10. Skull Rock Located in Joshua Tree National Park, this spooky looking rock formation almost looks like a human skull if you look at it from the right angle. Although it might not perfectly resemble a skull, it can be somewhat eerie for hikers to find while passing by. It's a favorite location for visitors at this massive national park and it's only about a 1.7 mile hike to reach. Many people claim that the trail is actually pretty easy too. The most notable features are his eye sockets and the forehead. Just use your imagination a little bit and it's pretty strange. Number 9. Badwater Basin Death Valley National Park doesn't have the most inviting name, but that didn't stop the 1 million tourists who visited the park in 2014. It's also the hottest place in the country where temperature rose to 134 degrees Fahrenheit. The lowest point in the US is called Badwater Basin and that can be found here. Its elevation, 282 feet below sea level. Despite the lack of water and extreme heat, there's over 36 species of reptiles, 51 species of mammals, and 1,000 species of plants that make up this national park. You'll also come across the saline stones, which seemingly move on their own, but are actually due to ice that sometimes forms on the dry lake beds. Number 8. Pioneer Saloon at one point in time, this saloon was more popular than the Las Vegas Strip. Located in Good Springs, Nevada, the Pioneer Saloon was erected in 1913 and is currently the oldest saloon in Nevada. It's been featured in many movies and even video games for its authentic look and western architecture. The whole town of Good Springs, Nevada has an apocalyptic vibe to it and it's rumored to be plagued by ghosts. The small town was once a booming mining town, rich in gold, uranium, silver, zinc, and lead. The saloon was a town watering hole for quite some time. There are even some bullet holes that are still on display after a shooting took place over a poker game. 
Let us know which video game featured this saloon in the comments section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 7. Cabazon Dinosaurs If you're driving from Phoenix to LA, there's no way you'll miss the Cabazon Dinosaurs in Riverside County, California. In order to attract more customers to a restaurant nearby, in 1964, sculptor Claude Bell completed construction of two dinosaur statues. Unlike some others we've mentioned on this list, you can actually go inside these statues and buy various gifts for your buddies. The T-Rex gets the nickname of Mr. Rex, and the Brontosaurus gets the nickname of Dinny. Dinny's the one who's got a slide on his tail. Strangely enough, the guy who built them actually believed that dinosaurs lived with humans at some point in time, and you'll find various signs that try to support his theory. Number 6. Shiprock, New Mexico New Mexico is home to a volcanic vent, and one of them is known as Shiprock. This has been quite the popular place for photographers and rock climbers because of its unique appearance. If you look at it from the right angle, like in this photo, you can kind of tell it sort of looks like a ship that is sinking top down. After an accident took place while climbing it, the Navajo declared that this place shall no longer be climbed, and all the areas around the rock are off limits. Thanks a lot, Navajo. Learn to share. Number 5. Steve Medlin's Mailbox This guy Steve Medlin must be getting kind of annoyed that his mailbox gets so much dang attention all the time and he's even had to repaint it a couple times to throw out people looking for the quote unquote black mailbox. It was actually black at one point, but in order to keep conspiracy theorists off his front lawn, he made it white. It was rumored to be the discreet mailbox of Area 51, which would contain classified information. People even began to leave their own personal letters discussing aliens. It's located on the extraterrestrial highway near a dirt trail that leads to Area 51, so there was good reason to believe that it might contain some classified info from time to time. Number 4. Edwards Air Force Base Edwards Air Force Base is known for being one of the most mysterious air bases in California, and it's located in the middle of the desert. Things such as the Boeing Yell-1 were tested here, which was set to be equipped with a megawatt chemical oxygen iodine laser attached to the nose, and it started off promising. During the test, the high-powered laser beam successfully intercepted two launch missiles. Another strange thing you'll see here from only a bird's eye view is this massive compass painted into a dry lake bed. It's also home to the NASA Food Corps that's been able to rack up a 3.6 review on Google Maps. Maybe they need a new type of freeze-dried ice cream to serve? Number 3. California City Planned to be the next major city of California, a real estate developer decided to buy 80,000 acres of land of the Mojave Desert in 1958. With dreams of creating the next master planned city, his dreams fell totally flat, and it's basically a giant wasteland. The city just wasn't meant to be. The primary residents who moved here were people who work at the Edwards Air Force Base we just mentioned. Oh yeah, and there's also the California City Correctional Center. If you look at it from an aerial point of view, you can pretty much tell the streets were built, but the buildings just aren't there. You might get a little bit of an eerie vibe by checking out this place on Google Maps. They expected a population of Los Angeles, but only got around 14,000 people or so. If the population continues to decline, the Air Force Base might just decide to use it as a target. Number 2. Area 6 Landing Strip What is the true purpose of this mysterious airstrip located in the middle of the Nevada desert at the National Nevada Security Site? Some believe as though this is the real location where crash UFO technology is being stored and Area 51 is just a decoy base, throwing everyone off. It's located next to, but not on, the dry lake bed, which isn't the usual setup. It's found just south of the massive craters left from nuclear testing. Many are curious why there is only a one mile long runway, especially when Area 51 is so close. Some have speculated that Area 6 is being used to test out top-secret drone projects since the runway is too small for jet fighters or bombers. But first, we'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think Area 51 is just a smokescreen for a more mysterious base in this area? Let us know in the comments section and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. And number 1. Rhyolite, Nevada You can do a little bit of Google urban exploring in the city of Rhyolite, Nevada, which was once a prosperous gold mining town. Just outside of Beatty, Nevada, Rhyolite had a population of 10,000 people at one point in time. That was quite a bit for a city out west. At one point in time, it also had a total of 50 saloons, 35 gambling tables, and even a brothel. There's much to explore in this spooky town, as well as abandoned mines left over from a century ago. It's interesting to take a quick look if you're into spooky abandoned things in the middle of nowhere, but in recent times, it's been a safe haven for some strange art. There are some ghostly statues nearby in an art installation known as The Last Supper. This was created by Charles Albert Suzalski at the Goldwell Open Air Museum. You can also find this statue known as the Ghost Rider for obvious reasons. 
This art installation is not a statue of our president, but actually known as Lady Desert, the Venus of Nevada. She could ultimately be the goddess of 8-bit video game fans, and she was created by Dr. Hugo Herman. But whoa, hold on, we got a question for you. Can you tell us the name of the video game that has this saloon in it? Get the right answer, and we'll feature you in an upcoming video. You gotta be first, though.